Hi. In this video, we will solve problems based on arithmetic progressions. So now let us go ahead and solve the first question. Show that minus three, zero, three, six, nine, and so on is an EP. Find its twenty-fifth term and the general term. Before we move on to the solution, let us see what we are asked to find out. We need to find out that minus three, zero, three, six, nine, and so on is an EP. We also need to find out the twenty-fifth term and the general term. Let us now take a look at the solution. In order to find whether the given sequence is an AP, we need to find out the constant difference. We do that by subtracting the two consecutive terms. If the difference is constant between the two terms and between all the terms in the given sequence, the given sequence is an AP. So, let us subtract zero minus minus three. The difference is three. Similarly, three minus zero, six minus three, nine minus six gives us the value to be three, which is constant for all the terms. Therefore, the given sequence is an AP with the common difference three. Now let A be the first term. In this case, it is minus three, and D be the common difference, which is three. Now let me introduce you all to a formula. Which we are going to repeatedly use in this chapter. The formula is a n is equal to a plus n minus one into d. Since we have to find out the twenty fifth term, let us substitute the value of twenty five in the formula. We get a twenty five is equal to minus three plus twenty five minus one into three. On further calculation, we get a twenty-five is equal to minus three plus twenty-four into three. That becomes a twenty-five is equal to minus three plus seventy-two, which is sixty-nine. Now we have to find out the general term. Let us use the same formula: a n is equal to a plus n minus one into d. By substituting the values, we get. A n is equal to minus three plus n minus one into three. On opening the brackets, we get minus three plus three n minus three. By adding up minus three and minus three, we get the next step as a n is equal to three n minus six. Hence, we have the answer with us. A twenty five is equal to sixty nine, and a n is equal to three n minus six. Let us move on to the next question, which says that show that the sequence defined by a n is equal to two n minus one is an AP. Find its eleventh term. Now again, let us see what is asked. We need to find out whether the sequence defined by a n is equal to two n minus one is an AP. We also need to find out the eleventh term. Let us take a look at the solution. Firstly, let us write what is given to us. We have been given a n is equal to two n minus one. Now, in order to determine whether the sequence defined by this is an AP, we need to find out the constant difference. To find out the constant difference, we need to have another equation. We know that n is the last number. So n minus one becomes the second last number. So let us replace n by n minus one. In that case, we get a n minus one is equal to two n minus one minus one. So now we have two equations with us. By subtracting the two equations, we get a n minus a n minus one. Is equal to two n minus one minus two n minus one minus one. On further calculation, we get two n minus one minus two n plus two plus one. On further calculation, we get the difference to be two. A n minus a n minus one can also be written as d. 
that is the constant difference since it is the difference between two consecutive numbers thus the given sequence is an ap with the constant difference 2 now in order to find out the value of the 11th term we need to substitute the value of 11 instead of n so a n is equal to 2 n minus 1 becomes a 11 is equal to 2 into 11 minus 1 on further calculation we get a 11 is equal to 22 minus 1 which equals to 21 hence the 11 term that is a 11 is 21 let us tackle the next question how many terms are there in the AP 2916 which goes on up to 261 let us take a look at the solution let A be the first term in this case it is 2 and let D be the common difference that is the difference between two consecutive numbers which is 9 minus 2 which equals to 7 now let us suppose that n number of terms are there in the given AP. Thus the nth term is 261. So let us use the formula in order to find out the number of terms. The formula is a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 d. By substituting the values we get 261 is equal to 2 plus n minus 1 into 7. On opening the brackets, we get 261 is equal to 2 plus 7n minus 7. On further calculation, we get 7n is equal to 266. Since we have to find out n, let us isolate n by taking 7 to the right hand side. So on division we get n is equal to 38. So we have the answer with us. The given AP has 38 terms. Coming to the next question. Find the value of the middle term of the AP minus 11 minus 7 minus 3 which goes on up to 49. Moving on to the solution. We know that A is the first term. In this case, minus 11. A n is 49. D we know is the common difference. That is the difference between two consecutive numbers. That is, minus 7 minus minus 11. The difference is 4. Now, let us use the formula. A n is equal to A plus n minus 1 into D. By substituting the values, we get 49 is equal to minus 11 plus n minus 1 into 4. On further calculation, we get 60 is equal to 4n minus 4. By taking minus 4 to the left hand side, we get 64 is equal to 4n. Since we need to find out the value of n, let us isolate n. On division, we get n is equal to 16. Now, we know that n is equal to 16. That is, n is an even number. So, there will be two middle terms. That is, 16 upon 2 and 16 upon 2 plus 1 term. That is, 16 upon 2 is the 8th term and 16 upon 2 plus 1 becomes the 9th term. So, let us substitute the values that is the 8th term and the 9th term in the formula a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. So, that becomes a 8 is equal to a plus 8 minus 1 into d. So, that becomes a 8 which equals to a plus 7d. By substituting the values of A and D, we get A8 is equal to minus 11 plus 7 into 4. On further calculation, we get A8 to be 17. 
Now, in order to find the value of the ninth term, let us proceed similarly. So that becomes a9 is equal to a plus 8d, which is minus 11 plus 8 into 4, which equals to 21. Hence, the values of two middle terms are 17 and 21 respectively. Let us take a look at the next question. Is 63 a term of AP minus 1, 4, 9, 14 and so on? Moving on to the solution. A is equal to the first term. In this case, it is minus 1. And D is the common difference. That is the difference between two consecutive numbers. So that becomes 4 minus minus 1. That is 4 plus 1 which equals to 5. Let n term of the given AP be 63. Then a n is equal to 63. So that becomes a plus n minus 1 d is equal to 63. Let us substitute the values of a and d. We get minus 1 plus n minus 1 into 5 is equal to 63. On opening the brackets we get minus 1 plus 5 n minus 5 is equal to 63. By taking minus 1 and minus 5 to the right hand side we get 69. So the next step is 5 n is equal to 69. Since we need to find out the value of n, let us take 5 to the right hand side. On division we get n is equal to 69 upon 5. On further division, we get 13 into 4 upon 5. 13 into 4 upon 5 is a fraction and the number of terms cannot be a fraction. Thus, 63 is not a term of the AP minus 1, 4, 9, 14 and so on. I hope you all understood these problems. In the next video, we will solve some more problems based on arithmetic progressions. Please visit www.letstew.com. Thank you.